what is going on good people of youtube it is me chavez back with another prize picks video for monday february 6 2023 man we got some movement going on today in the nba eight game slate still an eight game slate um but yeah literally finished recording the video and then got word that Jalen Brown is now day to day and all the Celtics props were removed from the board which threw everything off and I really want my videos to be relevant and up to date so I've decided to re-record the video because a lot of the information that I had uh, about that Boston game is out the window right now so moving on we have to uh, we just have to adjust on the fly it's part of it it uh, it's part of <laughs> part of the prop world things change so quickly so I still like um, I still want to pre present to you a few players that I am all in on today uh, give you why I like these players so much but I've added a new one to the list uh, and I've taken two off the list because one of them was Jalen Brown's first half props and PRA as well as his turnovers and that is no longer in play so until we find out what's going on in Boston we're just going to go ahead and not talk about that Detroit Boston game and move on so uh, I want to I want to move into what is to me a very obvious play maybe not you know I'm, I'm really not you know um, saying something that probably hasn't been said yet or before but uh, Jordan Poole let's start with Jordan Poole over in Oklahoma City or over in Golden State versus Oklahoma City and Jordan Poole is in a favorable favorable spot today uh, playing without Steph Curry and I don't want to spend too much time on these picks but I do want to give you a couple of notes and nuggets for uh, for you that support why I like these picks so much. So I do want to show you the prop lines, or excuse me, I do want to show you the game logs with Jordan Poole on the floor with Steph Curry available. And for his PRA, currently it's 27 and, and 20 over his last 10 and 5 games. But when we take Curry out of the lineup, this bumps up from 27 and 20 to 34 and 39 PRA a game. Now, currently, this is my favorite prop on the board for Jordan Poole because his line has been bumped up twice for his points. Started off at 22 and a half, got pulled, got put back up at 23 and a half, and then got pulled and got put back up for 24 and a half. Uh, however, his PRA still remains at 32 and a half and that is why I favor the PRA over his uh, points there is one prop that is not on the board for him that I wish I wish was on the board and that's his turnovers so he is averaging five turnovers per game without Curry in the lineup and that's because he's soaking up more usage and the balls in his hands more so the, the, the odds for turno turnovers increase but without Curry in the lineup he's only averaging three so it jumps two whole turnovers per game without Curry in the lineup. I wish Prize Picks would drop that prop for us at two and a half because I would slam that over, and I would like to play that one over his PRA. To be honest with you, so Jordan Poole I like his PRA today versus the Oklahoma City Thunder, which looks to be a pretty close game, only a four-point spread. Golden State favored by four at home. All right, so let's let's go on into the los angeles clippers versus the brooklyn nets and i want to talk about a guy who should get a ton of usage usage tonight and i like him because of the opportunity that presents itself in this game and sometimes the matchup isn't always the most important factor when looking at props sometimes it's just the opportunity that a player is going to get and so without kyrie irving in this lineup it frees up a ton of usage for other players obviously Seth Curry is also out of today's game. He will not be playing so that between those two players, Kyrie is soaking up roughly, let's say, let's be, let's be, you know, uh, nice here. Let's say he's taking 22 shots a game and Curry's taking, you know, 15, 16 shots a game. So that's literally close to 40 shots between the two per game. Now those 40 shots, those shot attempts have to be distributed to someone, to some, some, somewhere else, right? When you look at what the projected starting lineup is for the Brooklyn Nets today, who are hosting the Clippers, and this game is a seven and a half point spread, Clippers favored by seven and a half on the road. 
when you look at what this projected lineup is, it's Ben Simmons, Cam Thomas, Royce O'Neal, Yuta Watanabe, and Nick Claxton. Now, Ben Simmons is not a scorer. Cam Thomas should see 20, 20 plus shots in this game. So he will take up, he will soak up the usage from Kurt, uh, from Kyrie Irving. Royce O'Neal is your three and D. He's gonna attempt maybe 10, 11 shots a game. Yuta's good for about six to eight. And then Nick Claxton. And Nick Claxton should see an increase in shots attempted and just minutes on the floor. And so when I check out Nick Claxton's game log, I was really, I was kind of happy to see this because the games that he struggles in, he doesn't shoot over 10, 10 times a game. It's under 10 and he has low scoring outputs. In games this season where he's attempted 10 or more field goals, he is over 20 points almost in every single game, averaging almost 20 points a game and averaging uh, double digit. He's basically getting you a double double in those games where he shoots at least 10 times a game. And these are relevant games. The 26th, the 25th, the 20th, 22nd, 19th. I mean, this is all in the month of January. It's all relevant in this season. And so when I look at those games and say, okay, this is what he's doing when he shoots at least 10 times a game, minus two shooters that are, you know, gonna be out of this game, and you basically replace one of those guys with a guy who doesn't shoot at all in Ben Simmons. I mean, I just really like Nick Claxton tonight in terms of his fantasy score, especially because in those games where he's putting up all that production, he's also he's also inviting you to the block party with two, two, three, three, four, four, three, 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 four, two, four. Man, that's anywhere between six to 12 additional points a game, fantasy points. So Nick Claxton, just by sheer opportunity alone, sheer uh, sheer floor time, minutes played, should see himself go over this 39 and a half fantasy score. So that really stood out to me in my research. I just really like this environment that Nick Claxton's in today. All right, uh, moving on over to um, my final play. And he is not on the board, but and this was like a last minute uh, substitution for for my Celtics here because uh, I you know things move so quickly in the NBA and it looks as though Christian Wood is playing today per ESPN. Make sure there are no crusty feet photos at the bottom. <laughs> uh, per ESPN, he's been cleared to play against the Jazz on Monday. He missed the last eight games with a fracture. Um, it's still dealing with some bruising, but the Mavericks are missing Luka. They can't have Kyrie tonight. Uh, he, de he debuts on Wednesday. You're still uh, with, you don't have Dinwiddie anymore. There is literally nobody on this team that can score with this available roster. I mean, seriously, I questioned last night who would even suit up for the Mavericks. Who is your starting five? Like Christian Wood was not in this starting five yesterday. I forgot who it was. We got Neil Aquina, Josh Green, Hardaway, and Dwight Powell. The usage should be soaked up by these two guys right here, Christian Wood and THJ. But I like Christian Wood versus the Utah Jazz. I really do. And I think that he's going to be in a spot tonight. And even though he's coming back from injury, we talked about this in another video, a previous video. But the healthiest these guys are going to be all year is when they come back from an injury until they get injured again. That's the healthiest they'll be. You're afraid to play them now. You're going to wait and see what they do. Oh, they played a couple of good games. Okay, now I'm going to play their prop. You're too late. You have to be early on these plays. And so I'm willing to take a shot on Christian Wood tonight. And as soon as his lines drop, I'm, I'm willing to play them in my slips because just, again, same thing with Nick Claxton. By sheer opportunity alone, he is going to be put into a higher usage role without Luka and Dinwiddie on the floor. So I do like that. And if you're interested in what Christian Wood has done, um, I feel like I had one of his game logs pulled up. I did. So Christian Wood, I tried to search for games. Well, no. Hold a minute. Hold on a minute. I guess I didn't search it. So let's search it now. Christian Wood. I did search earlier. Christian Wood. 
uh, game log without Luka Doncic, Doncic, and Spencer then Witty. And what it pulls up is basically games without Luka. So this game against the Portland Trailblazers back on the 15th, he put up 23 and 16. I mean, it doesn't really line up with what the situation is today, but no Luka, Spencer, Dinwiddie, but Dinwiddie took 15 shots. He played 35 minutes, scored 28 points. Where do those 15 shots go? They all can't go to Tim Hardaway. Dwight Powell is not a scorer. Franklin Lakina is not a scorer. Like three or four, five extra of those shots go to go to Christian Wood, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, I think he's just in a good position tonight. Um, the Dallas Mavericks lack star power right now, and I think they're gonna put Christian Wood in a position to be their go-to scorer today. So when his lines drop, I'm definitely on top of that, and I really want to play either his points uh, or his points and rebounds for sure. So uh, yeah, I don't have a Christian Wood prop to put on the board, but definitely he is in play along with Jordan Poole over PRA and Nick Claxton over a fantasy score. And don't forget about Jordan Poole's possible turnovers. If they are put on the board, we like the over on that. And then I guess I will quickly, quickly cover uh, a couple t uh, other turnover props. If in fact, Jalen Brown is out tonight and Jason Tatum is in tonight. Um, I do I did like his first half PRA, his first half points, and I also liked his full game turnovers, which were currently at 2.5. Jason Tatum on the season, Jason Tatum on the season, as much as I love this guy, is turning the ball over four times a game. And without Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart in the lineup, possibly, more usage will be going through Jason Tatum, and he'll have the ball in his hands more, which is more opportunity for him to turn it over. So that is another prop that I like. Uh, along with his first half PRA and points if in fact Brown is out. So there you have it. That is going to do it for today's video, revised video. Um, glad I was able to get this out and change some things up to align with what's going on in the NBA. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and just checking this video out. Chilling, talking uh, NBA props with me. Drop me a comment below letting me know who your favorite prop on the board is, who you have your eyes on, and who you've already locked in. Also, let me know what you think about these looks into today's slate. Uh, what do you think about the plays that I've uh, targeted today? Uh, what do you think about Christian Wood coming back? What do you think about his possibility of being the top scorer for the Mavericks today? Leave all that comment, leave all those comments below. I really, really appreciate all the comments. Um, and I try to get, you know, try to answer them and uh, have a lot of fun uh, replying back to them. So keep them coming. All right. Thank you once again for stopping by. And until the next video, my early look video for Tuesday morning, Chavez is out.